Welcome to my channel. My name is Kim. Today, I will be sharing with you our trip to San Diego County with a toddler and a newborn. We stayed in Seabird Resort in Oceanside, and it's just right beside Mission Pacific, which is also by Hyatt. So both of them are from Hyatt. And I believe you can, if you're a guest from Seabird, you can also check out the amenities and the restaurants from Mission Pacific. It's very accessible to the beach because it's just about five minutes from the beach. And at the same time, the customer service and the quality is really good. I love it. I have a lot of storage here. The refrigerator has a mini ref here. They also have this cozy robes and slippers. I'm actually wearing them right now. Here is how our bathroom looks like. So the shower, the soap and wash. So this is making my life so much easier because I wasn't able to bring our baby's bath support. So I was able to give her a bath while sitting down there. So Sunday evening, we checked in and then the following morning, we just had breakfast in our room through room service. So I really love the avocado toast that they had. It was really delicious, especially with poached egg. Uh, I believe my husband had bacon and sourdough bread. Um, we also had fruits and yogurt. After breakfast, we went to Legoland and this was about 17 minutes away from Seabird Resort Oceanside. So that was a weekday. I'm not really sure how it will be on weekends. We are in Legoland! Yay. It's my first time in Legoland. So second time. Is there a second time? Yeah. Ooh. So we have our three, almost three-year-old here and our newborn. And we're so excited! The only thing is, a lot of the rides are temporarily closed. I'm not sure if it's just a weekday thing or if it's like that the entire time. But my toddler was able to enjoy a lot of the places there because I've noticed that there are several areas in Legoland where it's like a huge jungle gym or a huge playground where she could play in. Um, normally, they recommend those playgrounds to be for ages 5 to 12. But, you know, I mean, as long as the parent is there, I, I don't see any issue. So the Ninago training camp is another playground that is good for 5 to 12 years old. But I could see some toddlers over here because there's a part over there that is... Um, like a smaller slide, smaller steps, etc. So it's you know kind of good for toddlers too. And it's another playground to be found here at Legoland. Um, there's a lot of climbing. Oh my goodness, my back hurts so much because my toddler was very enthusiastic in encouraging her mother to go through the tube slides. <laughs> and for the tube slides there, they don't allow adults to be with their children in the slide. I think I read it somewhere that it's also dangerous to do that. So my toddler wants me to go through the slide. There's also a place there for sensory. It's, it's basically a huge room filled with Legos. So there are Legos that are big sizes for the younger children like my toddler she enjoyed that so much i feel like that area is one of the places where we spent the most time in there's also a part there where there's tiny legos for the you know older kids and they could build their own little roller coaster and little cars there so i was just chilling there because there's a plug in that area where i could just charge my phone so i just charge my phone there but in several areas of Legoland there are also portable chargers where you can rent so that's a plus but you know I recommend that you just get your own charger or get um bring your own power bank oh yeah there's also a part there where um children could pretend to be a paleontologist 
and look through the sand. They basically just give ch kids their their own shovel and pail and you know, you know how kids love digging through sand or digging through dirt, right? There are several rides actually that has a minimum height limit of 34 inches. So my daughter was two days away from being three years old and fortunately she was you know a little bit over 34 inches so she was able to reach the minimum for several of the rides so one of the rides is the one where you ride a boat and you could steer the boat and it also has a gas pedal which is not fast but it allows you to control the boat we enjoyed that a lot there's also a ride where it's like a pirate ship I'm sorry, I just don't know the names of the rides, but it's like a pirate ship and it just goes all the way around. And I was surprised that the height limit there was 34 inches because that's that's pretty extreme. <laughs> so my daughter and I rode that one. She enjoyed it so much. She kept telling me the entire ride, mommy, let go, let go. Because she wants to like raise her hands. She wants me to raise my hands, but nope. I'm just gonna hold on the handlebar while I'm holding her with one hand. But yeah, it made me pretty dizzy. <laughs> but my almost three-year-old loved it. Um, there's also places there to eat. So, you know, it, there's chicken nuggets, chicken tenders. There's also ramen. But it's uh, nothing special. <laughs> it's just something to, you know, to eat. Um, and also snack places and drink places. There's also some roller coasters there for, you know, probably teenagers or adults who would like to ride that. I didn't. For some reason, when I became a mom, I became such a coward when it comes to extreme rides. One thing to note there is that it's a little bit cheaper on Mondays. As far as ticket goes, I believe you only paid $94 on a Monday and on weekends, it's a little over $100. And I've noticed that a lot of the stands for, let's say, food, snacks, or churros are closed on that day. I'm not sure if they're permanently closed or they're only closed on a Monday. That's why the tickets are cheaper. Please let me know in the comment section if that's the case or if it's just temporarily shut down. There's also a ton of carnival games there and another interesting feature of Legoland is the driving school there where it's categorized for smaller kids. I think it's between four to six years old and another one for seven to twelve I believe. So it's kind of like a racetrack but obviously they're not gonna make the cars fast right? But the children are able to control the cars and at the end of the ride, they'll be able to have their own little driver's license. There's also an area there where I think it's a bunch of trucks or monster trucks and there are several steering wheels, life-size regular steering wheels wherein you could control the little trucks inside the area there and I believe my husband enjoyed this a lot more than my daughter. I think it was about three dollars. You just swipe your card there and it'll allow you to play for a couple of minutes. There's also this submarine ride where there is no height limit. Um, you just basically enter this submarine and it's kind of submerged into water so that you would be able to see fishes and different kinds of sea creatures as you ride that submarine and it allows you to I guess play with their digital monitor there and you would try to find treasures as you ride through the submarine so that was a very fun activity um just be careful going in and out of it because the submarine doesn't stop it just continuously moves so you have to carefully go into it and then you know go go down the steps um my daughter and i rode that my husband was holding our two month old while we rode that so it's for all ages explored more than half of legoland already and i looked at my app we've only made up to about 4,600 steps 
That is how out of shape we are. We are out of breath. Legoland closes at 5 p.m. I don't know where my husband got the notion that it closes at 10 p.m. But we were wondering why around 4.45 restaurants were already closing. And that's the reason. It's because 5 o'clock they, they closed down. But we stayed there for a couple of minutes because um, near the exit of Legoland, there was... Uh, watermelon <laughs> stuff um, there was a watermelon character dancing with the kids so my daughter loved that so much kind of burned her energy so she'll sleep through the night and yeah so that's what happened in Legoland uh, we truly enjoyed it we stayed there for about a little over five hours so that was enough time to kind of go around the areas. I think it's also because we didn't ride a lot of places there. It was more of um, just taking our time, enjoying the playground. Uh, eventually, when the kids get older, uh, hopefully we'll be able to ride more rides. But um, having a three-year-old and a newborn, for us, it's just more realistic to, you know, just take our time, go around, look around, take some pictures, you know, do some sensory activities. But yeah, if you have older kids, this is also a great place to go to. After Legoland, we went to Windmill Food Hall where there's a variety of choices. So the following day, Tuesday, is my birthday. So that was October 31st. In the morning, we had room service once again because when you have small children that's the easiest way to eat they have this device so you press the button right here and they're gonna get this whole thing back or you can just leave it outside the room so this is peach oatmeal um sticky bun something <laughs> what is this oh french toast <laughs> This is the chai spiced sticky bun. It tastes like cinnamon rolls and it's so good. Mini croissant, oatmeal, fruits, sausages. Um, you ordered a parfait? Mm -hmm. Good morning. Today is my spa day because it's my birthday today. 31 on October 31. And, huh? Golden? Why is it golden birthday? Oh, so my husband said it's my golden birthday because I'm 31 and 31. I know it's hot. That's why you come in the room. So right now my husband is going, I'm vlogging. <laughs> my husband is going to take care of our newborn and toddler while mama is going to enjoy her body scrub and full body massage. I need it. Look at me. I'm, I'm such a mess right now. But anyways, I'm going to come out all rejuvenated after this. Well, the package that I got was Soul Ritual. That's what they call it. It's basically um, body scrub. They put something in your hair to... About 130 degrees. Okay. Um, so we don't really recommend doing more than like 20 minutes in there. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, you can hop in the uh, cool misting shower. Uh -huh. Is this just a waiting area? So nothing really This is a here. heated hammam, so it has radiant heat coming from it. Uh -huh. um, so kind of like the rotation we recommend to do it, uh -huh. is you can start in the, in the sauna, uh -huh. then you can hop in the cool misting shower, which gets to 40 degrees. Oh, okay. And then you can sprawl out on that afterwards and it looks oh. super nice. Uh -huh. So I just finished my soul ritual treatment here in Sunny's Spa. It consists of body scrub and they also put a um, hair mask and a full body massage. This is what they put on my hair and the leftovers I could get to uh, keep home with me. They also have a sauna here and like a lounge area where you can have water, tea, some nuts. It's not as big as some of the uh, spas that I've been to, but I like that it's not too crowded. And there's just probably one or two of us here um, this morning. And this is my view 
it's right in front of the beach which I really love so you can get to hang out here before or after the treatment I didn't see any separate locker rooms for male and female it looks like it it's all together the massage was good the body scrub was good I could say I've experienced better in other places but you know um they were nice there's also an area there a salon if you want to get your hair done if you want to get your nails done or a pedicure but based on my experience i'd rather just go to a regular nail salon in your local nail salon place they do it so much better than uh what resorts have and then after the spa we just went around Oceanside. So again, this is a weekday. That's why the streets are pretty much empty. That's how we like it. We love Oceanside. It's our first time there, but we really felt the, the hospitality <laughs> of the locals and, and the people who are working there. So would I recommend this area if you have small children? Yes. It's really nice and clean beach waves are pretty strong though so um, if you're a surfer then i think that's a great place to go to if you like fishing there's also a pier where people would go fishing we just had an amazing lunch at the lab when we got there we were the only ones who were there well because it was 3 p.m we had a very late lunch the kids were napping for a long time because i think they were so tired from legoland yesterday you guys have to try this place i tried the birria it was like one whole slab of meat it was great my husband tried fried chicken toddler had the grilled cheese i had the birria and elote <laughs> so i ordered two and my husband also ordered a pretzel so the cheese there was also really good i had one drink because it's my celebratory drink <laughs> for turning 31 on 31. we are going to the beach front right now it's actually quite a walk i thought it was just across the street but after crossing the roads um, we still have to walk a few more feet and yeah it's good exercise <laughs> but with a stroller it's a little bit of a struggle it's all good we're burning all the stuff that we ate for lunch there's also a playground right over there close to the beach Look at that artwork. My husband was like, that is a sign of aliens. <laughs> Crazy. Look how beautiful this is. Wow. We are just walking here at the pier. It's almost 6 p.m. This is how it looks like. You can definitely go fishing here. My outfit for today. Don't mind all the mess in the background. I have two small children, and this is the only time I could show my outfit. It's our last day today here in San Diego, and I don't want to go home yet, but life goes on. So, we're going to have breakfast in this place called Toasted, which is just five minutes away from the resort. Gonna try out the horchata latte from Jet Fuel. Mm, How'd you like your coffee? It's mmm. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is how the hotel lobby looks like. I'm just gonna show you around, and that's basically it.
that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!